welcome to my home YouTube studio tour 2022. <laughs> Thought about spicing up my intro a little bit. And yes, this is not a cat, this is a drone. Meow. So welcome to my home YouTube studio tour 2022. I thought it would be a great idea to show you guys around so that you can see what I use to create my YouTube videos. I enjoy working from home and it's important for me to have a workspace where I feel comfortable. When I wake up in the morning, I want to feel excited and inspired to work on my next video project and having a nice studio setup really helps. Now, as some of you might know, the home studio is in my living room. It's a small setup, nothing crazy. Unfortunately, I don't have a separate room to use as an office. I basically have this corner right here available that I use to record all of my YouTube videos. And compared to my last setup that I showed you a while ago, I pretty much downsized everything and I'm quite happy with it as I don't really need much. I'm still selling some of my stuff that I don't need as I want to keep it as minimal as possible. Now, everybody has their own unique setup. Uh, and hopefully with this video, you can get some ideas for yourself that you could use for your small home studio setup. And if you're interested in the products that I've mentioned, I will leave a link in the video description below. So we're gonna start with the main area. I'm using the wooden kitchen table from Ikea, which is supported by two Alex drawers right here. The computer I'm using is the iMac Pro from 2019. For those interested, here are the specs. Now this computer has an old Intel chip, uh, but it does the job for most of my editing needs. I wouldn't recommend buying it though, as the newer M1 chips are way more efficient. Now my favorite accessory for the iMac Pro is the Hi-Rise Pro right here by 12 South. This is a monitor stand and raises my iMac to my preferred height. I love the fact that it has plenty of space by just removing this door right here. And I can also switch between the metal side or wooden side. Now the mouse I'm using is the MX Master 2. I had this for quite a long time and still does the job. I also configured it so that I can edit faster, uh, which I recommend you do if you edit a lot. Now I actually have two external hard drives which are hidden behind the curtain. Uh, an eight terabyte GTEC drive and a 24 terabyte GTEC drive. Uh, current projects are edited on my eight terabyte drive and finished projects are then stored on my 24 terabyte drive, which I can also edit from if I need to. Now over here, you can see my charging station for my Apple devices, such as my iPhone, Apple Watch and AirPods Pro. Uh, super convenient to have everything in one place. I also got this cute little small cactus. Oh a living cactus, this is no plastic. And I also have this pen over here that was given to me as a gift. Now the headphones I'm using uh, are from Bose. Uh, these are the QuietComfort 45, which I use when I edit audio. Of course, I don't use the Bluetooth. I have to use the wired connection, but the sound quality is really great. Now the chair I'm using is the Noble Chair Epic. This is more of a gaming chair. Uh, it does look nice and it can just like, lean back and chill, but I would go for a more ergonomic chair as it can get uncomfortable over time, especially when editing. Wasn't a good decision really, but it looks nice. Now moving over to my shelf, this one and all the other ones that you're seeing uh, later are all from Ikea. They are from the same designer called Fejebu. Probably didn't say that right. I really like the dark wood. It has an aesthetic look to it and it fits well with the white wall too. Now they are expensive though and I got these from a friend of mine, but you can get used ones certainly for cheaper. Now let's move to this framing up here. I don't have anybody to help me film today, so okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, so this nice handmade framing over here that I stole from the Apple Museum, just joking. I got this as a gift from Grid Studio and inside it has an iPhone X. I picked that one since it's the first iPhone in which I actually started making mobile videos with it. You can see that it has been taken apart to create this unique, cool design. Now this framing is really awesome. I think it really fits well with my YouTube studio. If you guys are interested, Grid Studio has provided me with a promo code where you can get 15% off. I will leave the code in the video description below for those interested. 
Moving on to the light bulb over here. I also got this one from Ikea. I just love Ikea. Ikea is my life. And I use this as a practical light for my YouTube videos. So I can say, Alexa, turn on light bulb. Boom. Then we have the YouTube 100K silver button award over here. It just feels nice looking at it and seeing the achievements I've made. So, and obviously we have here a fake plan that I also got from Ikea to add a little bit more atmosphere. And over here we have, of course, our smartphone filmmaking hat. It looks super cool. And for all mobile aspiring filmmakers out there, if you're interested, you can order one for yourself on my website that would of course support this channel and we can all wear the same hats, right? So one level low is the Zion Weebl S that I use for all my client projects together with the Sony A7S III that I'm using right now. I enjoy using this gimbal as it's small but still powerful enough to carry a heavy camera setup. Most of the time I go with the Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8 as it's a great all around lens and works for most shooting scenarios. I also have a 55 millimeter lens that I never use and a ultra wide angle lens, the 60 to 30, the 16 to 35 millimeter f4, which I'm using right now. I also have a drone that you've seen at the beginning of my video. I don't fly with it that often, but here and then for travel videos, it can offer a unique perspective. I would probably go for a more smaller drone the next time, such as the DJI Mini 3 Pro that was just released because it's just smaller and easier to carry around. And then we have the Gorilla Pod, which I use with the iPhone to wrap around things and get unique POV perspectives. Uh, it's also great as a vlogging setup because you can bend it and uh, really mount it almost everywhere. So this is the laptop table. I bought this myself. Uh, again, I got this from Ikea. And the reason why I picked this up is because it has wheels on the bottom and allows me to change the position to create a second setup. And I use it especially for uh, reviews or editing tutorials. The microphone I'm using is the NTG4 Plus with the Zoom H5 over here. And having these two combined, the audio quality is just fantastic. Now, when I'm recording outside or need to move around a lot, I like to use the Rode Wireless Go that I'm using right now. This is the best investment I've ever made. It's just super easy to use and is a plug and play microphone really. Now, like I mentioned before, I use the MacBook Pro M1 Max for editing on the go. This is a beast of a laptop and will last for a long time. And over here, I have my trusted DJI OM4, great gimbal that I use almost for every mobile shoot I have. If you guys don't have a gimbal and are starting out, this is the gimbal I would recommend. So below the laptop table, I have the Love Pro camera backpack. It's inexpensive, looks great, and fits all the gear that I generally bring with me when I use larger cameras. And when it comes to lighting, I used to use the Aperture 120D as my key light, but Aperture has sent me the 300D over here, which I'm using right now. It's just a way more powerful light source. I just wanted to give a shout out to Aperture for sending me the 300D. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much again. So let me show you the lighting setup that I have going on over here. The diffuser I'm using is the Light Dome Mark II by Aperture. And the stand I'm using that are holding the lights are by Manfrotto. A great light to have, but you don't need it to get started making videos. Remember that. Natural sunlight works great too. So we're almost there. Uh, just one thing, this is the TV table that I also use from Ikea. And I basically use this to store all of my other gear, such as lights, stands, tripods. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff over here and I can just open this door and then grab out uh, the things I need. Oh, and something else I forgot to mention in terms of lighting, I also use these uh, tube lights right here uh, where I'm able to change the color of the light uh, to create a moodier look uh, or more separation in my video. So these are the Godox tube lights Super cool, very nice. Non lights also has something similar as you can be totally creative with lighting yourself or your subject. 
So yeah, guys, that was a quick tour of my small YouTube studio setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe you got some ideas for yourself that you can use for your YouTube studio setup. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. You guys take care, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.